What's happening everyone? Welcome back into the channel. I hope you're all well. Today we're going to be dealing with an exercise that I created a few weeks ago to solve a problem I was having with Bonham triplets. Now if you don't know what Bonham triplets are, there was actually two Bonham triplets. One was right left kick which he used to play around the toms and then he also used to place two bass drums as 16th note triplets in between the hi-hat. So you maybe have a groove something like and then Dave Grohl took that on and because he was a big Bonham fan. Now I'm currently learning a Dennis Chambers groove and it's got that in it but at blisteringly fast speeds. So I've developed this exercise to help me build up the speed but also the control because you know me I like all encompassing exercises. So let's get straight to the exercise. Super simple. One bar, four, four. In the first three beats, we're going to play 16th notes. And then in beat four, we're going to play 16th note triplets. In the first three beats, we're going to have one E and a, two E and a, three E and a. And we're going to play right kick, kick through that. And it fits it four times. So we have one E and a, two E and a, three E and a. Right kick, kick, right kick, kick, right kick, kick, right kick, kick. In beat four, we are going to place right kick kick, but now it's 16th note triplets. So it's going to go, and the whole thing is going to be one E and a, two E and a, three E and a, four triplet and triplet, one E and a, two E and a, three E and a, four triplet and triplet. Now I'm placing my right hand on the stacker, so it frees up my left foot to play quarter notes or eighth notes or upbeat eighth notes, but also my left hand to play two and four which is going to give it a, a, a groove context because I like things to sound like they're an actual groove, not just an exercise. So let me show you that. No metronome, super slow, without the backbeat, and then I'll add the backbeat in. That sounds like this. That's the exercise. Nothing too fancy, but the change of rate on our bass drum keeps our brain from going at the mush of just going all the time. And the backbeat and whatever you choose to play elsewhere, you can move stuff around the toms, you can add left foot, nonsense, adds the level of coordination. So you're gaining control while distracting your brain from the fact that it's, the shin is on fire. So let me demo that exercise with the metronome at a slow tempo of 60 beats a minute. And now slightly faster at 75. And now let's try it at 90 beats a minute and see how we get on. So there we have it, a little kick drum exercise I'm currently working on myself. You can play the left hand instead of the right and you get a kind of Matt Gartska style thing and maybe play quarter notes over here, that's kind of fun. Also start messing around with the left foot, playing quarters, upbeat eighth notes, splash close ideas. And just push it as far as you can, not only in tempo, but in coordination, in the way you count it, in the dynamic levels that you've got. Hope you guys like this and please subscribe and I'll see you next time.